hi all welcome back to my channel by spark pearls so in this video i will be discussing the first part of the deloitte data engineer interview question so in this video i will be discussing mostly the sql part of it like i have collated uh, two three interview questions and this was you know basic sql question that was asked so and this was you know uh, the recently uh, which i got feedback from one of my uh, you know uh, colleague and a friend so he was offered a CTC of around 20 LPA and this consists of mostly the SQL questions. So the first question goes like this, like retrieve the top three highest salaries, right? So to retrieve the top three highest salaries, we can do a select distinct salary from employee order by salary descending and we can do limit of three. But what if he, uh, you know, he or she or the interview, the interviewer asks to uh, do it in some other way then we can do uh, following this method. We can use a row number function, select salary from select salary row number over or by salary descending as RN from employer ranked where RN less than equal to three. So here I have used uh, sub query. Um, in the comment, let's discuss how we can do is using CT. Okay, let's move to the next question like different between clustered and non-clustered index. Right. As you can see, in definition wise, if we go source and source, the actual data rows physically. Non clustered, like it can be, you know, created separately to keeping the data. It will be keep the, it will basically keep the data unsorted. Number allowed. Like uh, for the clustered index, it can be a one, uh, you know, clustered index per table. And uh, for non clustered, it can be a multiple. As it, you know, uh, actually it does not point to the actual data. That is the reason. Now storage structure. This is this table is the index. This source so pointer to actual data. It, it points to data. Performance uh, faster for retrieving range of data and sorting queries faster for searching on multiple columns. So that's why we create. You know that's why we can create multiple non-cluster index. Then use case uh, best for primary key of frequently sorted columns or best for filtering searching specific values. This is how we can create a clustered or non-cluster index. You can see syntax. Now let's move to the next question window function SQL. So basically uh, there can be you know, more window function uh, such as we can use you know aggregating functions some uh, max min average uh, with uh, <clears throat> as a window function over you know certain window but uh, these are the some of the you know uh, common and uh, which can be uh, I can say which are you know uh, non aggregating windowing function and generally we can understand aggregating window function what does this does but uh, generally we can't you know understand these terms especially uh, lead lag and tile so let's discuss this a rank function assign a each rank to you know assign a rank for each row uh, skip ranks for ties so this is a thing for example it will give one uh, let me say uh, for example like what i can say like it will give you know one comma Two, if someone suppose someone having two, two, so it will give two, and directly it will give four. Right? It's pick, it's skip rank for tie. So this is what it means. Right? So I can just put it here. Then dense rank does not skip rank when ties occur. So what what it will do? It will just give one, two, two, then three. Right? So this will not skip the rank. Then row number just it will give one two three right as any unique sequential for each number so this is how row number works now <clears throat> let me uh, this other syntax select name ranks rank over dense rank over row number over so this is very uh, simple example then entire entire basically it divides in the n uh, equal groups. Uh, for example, like suppose we have some 20 values then five groups will be divided right Four, five, twenty-four. 24 uh, Four groups will be divided for five rows Right, so select salary and tile four over uh, order by salary as quartile quartile from employee So as we can say from here we can say right four quarters are there So this can be you know useful uh, for this aggregating for a quarter For a year so like this we can do now a lag lag it will give mean the what does lag symbolize lag means the previous one so it will give the previous row value suppose we want to compare our today's data from the previous data right or we want to compare the uh, for, uh, current person salary to the previous person salary then we can do this and lead is just the opposite the next right today's uh, data with next year data 
right or today uh, first person salary with the second person salary like this so what does this mean uh, for the lag one we can consider we can consider uh, the first thing will be null because uh, the first row will not be comparing to anything right so that would be null and here we can say the last row will be null last null right so this is the thing now let's let me move to the next how to optimize a slow uh, sql query first of all we can use indexing as we have already discussed the types of indexes cluster non cluster then avoid select star and we need to fetch only the necessary column this is very uh, you know necessary because if we are fetching a necessary column obviously it will be time consuming and uh, our query will be slowly uh, performing slowly then we need to use join sufficiently inner join is usually faster than row and we need to use inner join wherever possible then optimize where clause use indexed columns and filters then uh, this is very good thing actually uh, avoid functions in where clause for example here created at we, we should avoid it and we can use this created at between this to this so this would be actually actually faster right because what air created it will do this will actually uh, try to fetch out first the year and then you know do the uh, do, uh, follow the where statement but directly this can uh, search the it will not need to you know, take out the year and also this would be extraction process will be uh, avoided that is why it would be uh, a little faster let me move to next question this is very easy question this was asked find duplicate record this was recently asked i got to know uh, like select counts are as count from employee group by name having counts are greater than this is very easy nothing much to explain here now this is very good question how do we handle null values in sql we can handle null values in python in pyspark but how to handle null values in sql sometimes you know uh, this can be tricky right so coalesce function works with pyspark as well as sql select name coalesce salary zero as salary to imply uh, where salary is not null and this can be only worked in mysql so this is uh, very easy again difference between delete truncate and drop uh, trun truncate remove specific rows with their condition and if we don't use their condition it will remove all the rows right truncate delete all rows keep the table structure drop delete the entire table plus structure common table expression what is like ct versus subquery so common table expression improves readability and reusability using multiple so wherever you know we feel like this table or uh, this query can be used multiple times then we should uh, go with ct right for example like with high salary as select star from salary salary greater than 7000 then we can use this and this can be nested inside another query cannot be used since it cannot be reused so we should uh, think like if we are going to use that query or not then we need to you know frame our uh, sql as it is now uh, how to calculate the cumulative sums right running total this can be asked as running total or cumulative sum so we need to uh, use this query select month sales sum sales over partition by month order by date as running total from sales data so this actually cumulates the sum over the uh, sales per month so in the next video i will be you know discussing the PySpark question uh that was asked that would also you know uh, that will also correlate it from multiple interviews so yeah thank you and do subscribe to my channel uh yeah